Hello again, a new day, a new project. And uh, what I'm trying to do today is to find out if an amplifier like this, this is a very simple amplifier, is letting the beacons going out, you know, because theoretically it shouldn't. This is just an input amplifier. And uh, I'm, I wanna try this with my uh, miner right here. And what I found, when uh, I'm booting the minor, there is a short beacon. So we can take that and analyze with the amplifier and without the amplifier and to see how the things are running here. I have uh, in the window, I have a McGill and I have the original uh, Heltec antenna connected to my radio. The original is that one with the spring there, I think you see it, okay. And a uh, few words about this little amplifier here. Okay, so the amplifier, it's uh, SPF5189Z. It's made by QRVO, and it's looking like uh, pretty interesting here. We have again 18.7 and so on. It's uh, taking five volts, 90 milliamps. It's taking a little bit more than that. But, uh, okay, so that's not the idea anyway. I just want to check if the beacon is going out <laughs> through the amplifier. You know, this, this is kind of crazy test, but I hope it's useful. Okay, let's go back to the radio and uh, let me have my minor shut off. Okay, now it's off. The antenna is directly connected to the minor. The other one is nearby and uh, receiving. Let's have the radio like this and let's power the minor. We should see soon a beacon. Yeah, when the red LED is lighting, we have beacon. Oh yes, and here we go almost minus 50 db 53 db okay so this was a very very clear lora uh, beacon okay shut it down all right now let me have the amplifier connected here. Obviously, I need some adapters. You know, this amplifier is running worm, not hot, but worm. That's the way it's uh, that's the way it's running, and it's taking like after my. Uh, Okay, by the way, let me see the voltage there. Okay, so this is my new KM601, really interesting multimeter. A lot of uh, functions and functionalities and I really like it. Let me see, now it's on Smart Auto. Four point six volts. Perfect. So the amplifier it's working for sure. Let me have the antenna plugged in. So, now, remember this, we have around 55, okay, 53 dB. I'm resetting the graphic here. Let's power on the amplifier. Oh, what's happening? Oh, it's looking like an oscillation or something. Very interesting. Okay. 
I have the other antenna connected to the to the radio. 868 megahertz and let's power on the miner. Let's wait for the red beacon. Statistic on. And yes, we had a beacon, but as you can see, very faint here, minus 70. Another, I think this is an harmonic or something. Um, so uh, this is very, very clear. There is no way for, uh, for the take signal to pass the amplifier. That was just a simple test. And uh, the point of this one is to prove that as long as you don't have a bidirectional amplifier to allow the TX signal to go out to the antenna, this one is pretty, how can I say, unusable. Of course, it's amplifying the input signal, but what you have, what are you gonna do with the TX one, you know? So uh, for now, only if you want to receive beacons to be a witness or a witnessing maybe this one can have a little impact oh by the way you see there was a beacon here but probably it's from one of the neighbors and this one went up with minus 63 and mine right here <laughs> near my window that 10 centimeters away it was minus 70 so people, yes, uh, the beacon, the TX signal, it's not passing through the amplifier. And it's also dangerous because it's uh, overloading the input somehow, so it can be a problem. Okay, I think, uh, I think we are okay for today. Please like, subscribe, and the most important thing, don't forget to have fun. Bye-bye.